<laughs> Hi, um, it's lovely to see you all. Um, I'm Richard Hall, I'm Professor of Education and Technology at De Montfort University and I had the great good fortune to be involved with um, the Digilit Leicester project um, as the academic lead working with Josie Fraser um, at the City Council and Lucy Atkins who was the research um, associate at the time and is now doing a PhD on digital literacy um, with me at DMU, so it's a really positive spin out. Um, the the Digilit Leicester project was a really important project um, on a global scale, really. It was the kind of first time that we'd seen that, that sort of scale of um, implementation of a, of a self evaluation framework that was kind of peer reviewed and practitioner led across the whole city. And, it's, and it has kind of spin outs beyond, of which today is one really, when we've been trying to think about how do we. Um, how do we kind of, I guess, secure moving forward the, the innovations that were developed with um, school staff? From the reports that, we, that were produced in 2013 and 2014 in particular, there was one kind of area um, that was kind of flagged for us as a, as a sort of an area that we might want to do a bit more work around. And in particular, that was um, around creating and sharing resources. And it was flagged in, in the kind of comments we got from school staff that effectively the kind of creation and sharing of resources, issues around open licensing and how do we work with young people in particular to kind of work on licensing of resources was a kind of untapped area, an area that was kind of causing people some concern, I guess, um, in terms of how they produced stuff and then repurposed stuff and then published stuff that could be used across all key stages. Um, so today we wanted to kind of pick up on that a little bit and begin a process of kind of negotiation with, with schools, with people who are involved in creating effectively kind of policy frameworks inside schools, but also practitioners. And we're, we're here as well to celebrate the production of um, the, uh, the school's kind of OER guidance that was produced with um, Bjorn, who's going to speak in a, after me, um, which is available available for, for schools, not just in Leicester, but also more broadly. We wanted to provide effectively a framework or a toolkit. So today is going to be about focusing on, on that, and there'll be following on from um, this effect, this kind of set of presentations with, with some Q&A. We're going to move into some workshop sessions for those who are staying. that are going to be effectively around defining policy, but also around defining what it means to, to practice with open educational resources from an intermediate or beginner level right the way through to kind of thinking about how they might become more accessible. So we have a range of kind of workshop presenters who are going to work on that with you. Um, we also have some feedback questions, three feedback questions, which I believe are in your pack, but they're also on the registration table. And they're effectively for us in the Digilit team, but also Josie in the City Council, looking at how we might go away and support schools more effectively in their use of resources. And this is kind of critical area really for us. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Um, each of the speakers are gonna, uh, are gonna have 15 minutes and um, I'm gonna be brutal in keeping people to time. Um, if there are any questions for um, clarification only after each, after each person's spoken, we'll take that. But Beyond that, we'll, we'll save Q&A until the end. But we would, quite, we, would, we would welcome a kind of rich conversation after the four speakers. Um, um, we have about 20 minutes for that. Okay.